हेलो आई एम फेमिता मैमन टुडे लेट्स स्टार्ट चैप्टर थ्री द ह्यूमन बॉडी पार्ट वन द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न दैट एवरी लिविंग बींग नीड फूड टू अटेन एनर्जी फॉर वेरियस एक्टिविटी न्यूट्रिशन इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑप्टेन फूड एंड गेट एनर्जी फूड that living organism eat has different components such as carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals that are required in the building block of the body the molecules of carbohydrate proteins and fats are large and complex they cannot be absorbed by directly by the cells of the body it has to be converted to simpler form so that our body cell can easily absorb them This conversion is brought about in the presence of certain compounds called enzymes. All enzymes work on a particular substance. Nutrition helps to build our immunity to fight diseases. Thus it maintains our health. Note it down. Nutrition is mainly of two types: autotrophic and heterotrophic. Plants can make their food so they are called autotrophic while animals cannot so they are called heterotrophic nutrition involves these steps number 1 ingestion food taken in from the mouth number 2 digestion the breaking of complex food to simpler form absorption entering of digested food to our blood stream assimilation utilization of the absorbed food by the cells ejection removal of undigested food in the form of feces through the anus the entire process of nutrition is carried out in the alimentary canal it is also called digestive tract alimentary canal It is a long tube-like structure which is the main part of the digestive system. Most of the digestive organs are the part of the alimentary canal. However, accessory digestive organs such as salivary glands, liver and pancreas are located outside the alimentary canal. These accessory organs contribute to the chemical phase of digestion by releasing digestive juices. Alimentary canal begins at the mouth and extends to the anus with average length of about 9 meter. These organs are associated with the alimentary canals: mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. Glands associated with the alimentary canal are salivary glands, liver, pancreas. Mouth The first organ of alimentary canal is the mouth. Food taken through the mouth is called ingestion. Solid foods are chewed here with the help of different types of teeth. The tongue and the cheeks also help in this process. During the process of chewing, three pairs of salivary glands secrete the saliva to moisture the food. The saliva help in the chemical digestion of the food. Saliva contains the enzyme salivary amylase which converts starch into maltose. The tongue processes the soft food called bolus into the esophagus. The human body produce about 37000 liters of saliva in lifetime. Tongue It is the movable muscular organ in the mouth that helps in the chewing and mixing of saliva with food. It is used for tasting, licking, swallowing and speech in human. The tongue also serves as an organ for taste and contains taste buds scattered over it. It can differentiate sweet, salty, bitter and sour taste. Teeth. Teeth are the hard structure in the mouth of human and animals. Their main function is to chew the food. 
when you see your teeth in the mirror you will find that all the teeth are not alike and serve different functions organism having different kinds of teeth are called heterodonts while all the teeth are alike such organisms are called homodonts mainly animals an adult man has 32 teeth 16 in the upper jaw and 16 in the lower jaw there are of four different types of teeth in the man they are incisors canine premolar and molar incisor there are eight incisors located in the front portion of the mouth four in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw incisor have sharp edges that is used to cut the food canine each is located adjacent to the incisor there are two canine in each jaw their primary role is to tear the food premolar behind the canine are the two sets of premolar in all there are eight premolar four in each jaw they are flat mainly and their main function is to grind and chew the food molar behind the premolar are the molars there are three sets of molar in each jaw in all there are 12 molars here most vigorous chewing is done they are named as first second and third molar the third molar is called the wisdom tooth structure of a tooth teeth are fixed in gums that are embedded in the jaw each tooth has three part crown the shining white part of the teeth that you see is the crown the teeth are made up of hard bony substance called dentine the shiny part is called the enamel the neck the part of tooth covered by gum is called neck root the part of tooth embedded in the bony socket is called the root care of teeth the main diseases of teeth are decayed gum diseases about 90 percent of child suffer from tooth decay it began when the bacteria act on sugars commonly found in food the bacteria produces harmful acid that attack the tooth enamel and form cavity a sticky layer of saliva mucus bacteria and food residue cause yellowing of teeth called plaque which can cause gum diseases this habit can help you in caring of teeth and gums number one brush your teeth in the morning and at the time of bed using good quality of toothpaste two avoid taking sweets chocolates and ice cream frequently make sure you brush your teeth after taking these three always use soft crystal brush four eat vegetables like carrot cabbage radish and spinach take milk and milk product regularly because it contains calcium which makes the teeth stronger esophagus it is the long tubular structure connecting the mouth to the stomach and is called the food pipe the muscles of esophagus start contracting and expanding this process is called peristaltic movement that help the movement to move the food toward the stomach no digestion takes place here stomach the stomach is an elastic bag like structure made up of muscles and can expand significantly to store all the food your digestion of food by both mechanical and chemical process is formed the stomach can track contract about three times per minute turning the food and mixing with gastric juices these juices consist of water hydrochloric acid and enzyme pepsin put it down stomach produce about two liters of hydrochloric acid a day stomach acid is strong enough to dissolve metals but it does not have 
time to damage the stomach wall because 5 lakh cells in your stomach are line are replaced every minutes small intestine it is the most important part of the alimentary canal because all the digestion and absorption of food occur in the small intestine it is the long coil tube of about 7 meter long and 2.5 cm in diameter and situated in the lower part of the abdomen. It is divided into three parts. Duodenum, the C-shaped first part of the small intestine. Jejunum, the coiled middle part. Ilium, the final section leading to the large intestine. Duodenum receives bile juice produced by the liver and pancreatic juice from the pancreas. Bile juice is stored in the gallbladder. Bile help in breaking fats into smaller width. This process is called emulsification of fat. Bile also neutralize the stomach acid and make the medium alkaline. The small intestine is the base of absorption. The smaller food is absorbed which is finally converted into energy. The absorption capacity of the small intestine is increased by millions of finger-like projection called villi. They increase the surface area by about 150 times for the absorption of food. The digestion of all the three parts of your food is completed in the small intestine. Large intestine the large intestine is about 1.5 meter long and about 6.0 cm in diameter which is divided into three parts. Cecum in the beginning of the large intestine which is where it joins with the small intestine, colon and rectum where the feces is stored and they are ejected out of the body. Large intestine have no digestive function to perform. It absorbs water as well as dissolves salts from the undigested food. The dige they are digested and absorbed food in the body in different forms. The products can be interconverted as per the requirements. Glucose is oxidized to it to get energy. Excess of glucose is stored as glycogen in the liver and muscles which can be reconverted to glucose when required by the body. The amino acids are utilized in the synthesis of protein. Extra amino acids are converted to urea which are filtered out through the kidney in the form of urine. The fatty acids are converted to fats and are stored under the skin. Overall, absorption process is known as assimilation. As water is absorbed in the large intestine, the semi-solid waste passed into the rectum as feces. The feces are finally passed out from the body through anus and this process is known as ejection. Note it down. You will be surprised to know that the liver has unique capacity to generate a growback since it helps in destroying some sort in terms of injury and diseases. But if the liver is damaged rapidly over a long period of time, it may undergo irreversible changes that permanently interfere with their functions. Know this. In the large intestine, mainly water is absorbed. Food can last into large intestine for 18 hours to 2 days sometimes. Thank you.